Hello everyone and welcome back to the Zed Register. So this is a pretty unusual start to the video. This is meant to be the 2023 Pride of Longbridge episode. Um, we have to start this way because us here at the Zed Register wish to pay tribute to a man who we sadly lost at the beginning of this year. Uh, that man being James Smith or Jim as he was better known. Um, Jim was a former employee of MG Rover. Uh, he worked at Longbridge at the plant, helping create our our wonderful cars that we so love and desire uh, to this very day. Uh, yeah, like I say, he sadly passed away at the beginning of this year. And we just wish to pay tribute because we heard many, many, many stories about how wonderful a man he was. And yeah his his um his desire and his passion for mg rover knew no bounds really he was so passionate about the brand could only imagine why being like a member of the of the factory building uh the fleet that we have today and i think it's fair to say that um us here as mg rover owners or enthusiasts would um like to take a moment to really show our gratitude and thanks to not just jim but also anyone who worked uh for mg rover uh, back at Longbridge in the day, um, whether they be alive today or still passed on, it doesn't make no difference. We're all very, very grateful for everyone that participated in any sort of way to building uh, the machines that we love today and keeping on very strong. Um, ironically, today of recording actually is the day that MG Rover collapsed on uh, in 2005, the 8th of April. So um, I think as much as it be a tribute to James, um, it's also a tribute to MG Rover as well as a brand to everyone who um, who worked extremely hard during such difficult times when the company was in uh, a bit of disarray. Um, yeah, just a massive thank you really. And uh, once again, we just want to pay tribute to, to James or Jim uh, and pay uh, our deepest sympathies and condolences as well to his family, uh, to Thea and Stephen, his two children who are bringing their vehicles to Pride of Longbridge this year, as well as his wife as well. And whoever else in the family uh, are grieving him, uh, his loss at the moment, can only imagine how difficult it is. Uh, yeah, nothing really much else to say in this little clip now, uh, other than what he would have wanted for the, uh, for the show to go on. And yeah, uh, let's crack on into the vlog. Hello guys and welcome back to the Z Register. So yes, another instalment of Pride of Longbridge is a year on since last year's vlog. We've now got the 2023 Pride of Longbridge show. Probably around half eight, 20 to nine in the morning. Uh, just about to set off and make my way to Longbridge now. Um, been told by the maps it takes roughly an hour and 20 from where I live. So yeah, and not too bad of a drive. It's gonna be mainly motorway again though, like it was last time. So it's gonna be a little bit boring, but can't do anything about it. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it in the end. Going to go on the on the stand with all the guys and see some really nice cars again. Just come across some nice people in the community, all come together and just have a nice natter, whatever it may be. Enjoy everyone's cars. Yeah, it's gonna be gonna be a great day. So yeah, onwards with the video and yeah, let's get ourselves over to Longbridge. So guys, I've made it to Pride Longbridge. Weather's actually not too bad. You remember last year? It was actually uh, really really windy. Uh, so yeah, the Express is here and we've got an absolutely massive stand. It's all our stand here, the ZRZS, ZT register stand all along here as well. Got Nathan's Bittersweet right there, uh, if you remember that from the last vlog. Yeah, absolutely massive turnout on our stands. It looks, uh, well, I think we're in a much better place this year compared to where we were last year. Um, yeah, it's a hell of a lot more cars up the top over there. Like, I don't think the turnout's quite as big because obviously the weather's been pretty bad this week. Just gone i think it's quite put put quite a load of people off of actually coming here in case uh, in case it got washed out or cooled off because we did actually have an alternative location sorted out just in case uh we had a washout and the, the event got cooled off but thankfully it's gone on and like i say yeah absolutely brilliant turnout so far and yeah uh looking forward to seeing more of these examples uh in the show so we've managed to get to the best possible point in the park where you can see pretty much every car we got here and absolutely staggering every time you look at it to be fair like i said i think last year there's probably a lot more people here and like i said i think the weather's probably through or scared a load of people off but what a turnout as per always so if you're in the mgc you'll know the man 
called Scott Biddlecombe. He's actually over there, uh, discount MG River Spares with that uh, V8 ZT over there. Sounds amazing, by the way. Um, this is a biomorphic Mark II ZS. This is one very, very rare car. And soon enough, when the time is right, um, sorry to mention it, Scott, if you watch this, um, it will actually have a supercharger on it. Um, Scott recovered this bef just before it went to the scrap, I think. I'm pretty sure that's, that was the circumstance. He got hold of it and he has managed to do it up. And oh my God, this is literally one of my dream MGZ cars. This is absolutely immaculate. Like, biomorphic green is my favorite monogram color anyway. But this, this is just something else. All nicely done. Very, very tidy indeed. Absolute dream. So one fantastic example we got here on the stand is Daytona Motorsport, Matt Harvey, who races in the MG Trophy Championship for the MG Car Club. Absolutely stunning car, MG ZR170 here. Not long got the season started off, not long revealed the new livery actually, discount MG Rover Spares, that is uh, Sp Scott Biddlecombe. A sponsorship on the livery there, absolutely stunning, stunning car. Never actually been up close to a, a racing MG ZR before. <laughs> Part of the voice break there. Yeah, absolutely mint. Absolutely beautiful car. Hopefully they do well this year. So I don't know if you'll remember from last year's vlog, this is Nathan's bittersweet MG ZR here. Conveniently, next to it is a shot silt ZR that is for sale. And they share, by one digit, the exact same number plate. Only at Pride of Longbridge could you find this sort of stuff. Just one last special car I just want to feature before uh, I end up leaving uh, for the day is Steve Ward's ZS180. Steve put his car on the Z register stand at the NEC show in November. Um, yeah, this car is top to bottom absolutely immaculate he uses it as a show car only yeah he's done so much work to it even the fact that he's painted the like engine cover in lagoon because it is a monogram lagoon color this car is absolutely like i say top to bottom immaculate like the interior is just absolutely spot on absolutely spot on cjl tuning that's uh chas lee who uh, did my car yeah this car is definitely one of the cleanest examples here. Uh, got featured actually in uh, MG Enthusiast with my car, as well as a as an MG ZT that's uh, over there somewhere that's in um, solar red, as well as Nathan's bittersweet uh, ZR. That was a that was a good day to be fair. Uh, yeah, thought I'd just do a nice little feature on Steve's uh, ZS quickly. Um, yeah, absolutely outstanding car and a pleasure to have on the stand. And just one last one as well. Uh, this is Dan Boniface's M uh, Goodwood Green MG ZR. Goodwood Green actually being quite a rare colour uh, in the form of this car anyway, the ZR. It seems to be more of a ZT or a ZR, ZS sort of colour. So, uh, yeah. Jack here um, owned this car before Dan did. Uh, the head gasket had gone and uh, basically it was going to go to the scrap heap for that very reason. Jack very... Uh, amazingly grabbed hold of it and managed to give it a new head gasket and a new lease of life uh, before Dan eventually then uh, took hold of it and has made it what it is today and has brought it to uh, the Pride of Longbridge show. Uh, quite a load of people have actually gone now so um, it won't be long till we actually start making a move ourselves so um, yeah very nice example once again very nice and tidy He's taking very good care of it and yeah again pleasure to have on the stand. So that is the end of the video guys thank you very much for watching I'm just gonna head off now uh, got the car on the plinth right outside uh, the factory just as a nice little ending i guess to the video thank you very much for watching this video hope you guys have enjoyed and yeah i will see you guys in the next video